Hi, this is Michael. Today we will talk about the right hand. Often when I teach beginner and intermediate students, I see them move their wrist or arm while playing, mostly around C, D, E, of course. And that is not an efficient way to play, because it will cause unevenness and also you will be late on some notes. So what causes these problems? I think there are a few things you have to think about. First of all, the wrist. The wrist needs to be straight, because a bent wrist will influence the movability of your fingers. And the fingers need to be bent. Also the pinky. Because if you think, a straight pinky often causes this kind of movement, like you turning your hand a bit. I often see that when kids play. So, but not everybody can have a bent pinky, so if, if you can't, just look so you, you don't turn your hand, then it will still work. Think of your hand like if you are a pianist, like you, when you play the piano, you hardly play like this. If you see a pianist, they play like this. And also I find when my hand is, when I keep it a bit higher, I feel my fingers move better than if I drop my arm a bit. So even this way, my, my hand is, my wrist is still quite straight, but if I feel when I come up a little bit higher, I feel my fingers move better. But you can try and you can test it for yourself, which, which is better for you. But I believe that the thumb should be straight because if you bend the thumb, it also influ influences the fingers. And the best mobility for the fingers you get when your fingers are bent, like this. Then I think it's a good idea to practice in front of the mirror. You can just practice like five note scales like this. Something like that. And then you check what, what happens with your arm wrist and hand. So keep everything still, only move the fingers. So if you do that for a few minutes every day, if you, if you see you have any problems with it, of course if everything is fine, if your hand is and, and if your hand and arm and wrist are still, everything is fine. But if not, practice a few minutes every day in front of a mirror and check how you can improve your technique. But if you just think of your fingers, if your fingers are bent, your thumb is straight, your wrist is straight, I think you are on a good way and will not have many problems. I hope you like this video, I hope it helps. If so, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.